kids. Good afternoon, everybody. So I know I had promised you all we'll do a group picture post lunch, but I see the hall is yet to get full and everyone is coming in. And in the benefit of time, I will move on to the next paperwork. Let us have everybody settle in. Let's start with the next presentation. And we will go in for our group picture just before we start the awards. Uh, so for next, coming up next is our presentation on revenue assurance through intelligent water management. I would like to introduce Mr. Ankur Chaurasia, Business Growth Manager Itron to join us to make this presentation. Before he joins me on stage, a few words about him. He is a seasoned expert with a rich 13-year experience in water distribution management. His career has been marked by a series of impactful roles with renowned organizations such as Veolia, Delhi Jal Board and Odisha Industrial Infrastructure Development Corporation. His expertise extends to technological innovations in water conservation where he has been instrumental in implementing path-breaking solutions. His global exposure, particularly with Etron, has further honed his understanding of cutting-edge technologies in the field. Requesting Mr. Chaurasia to take over from here and we welcome him with a huge round of applause, please. Thank you everyone. Uh, first of all, I want to thank uh, Shriyal for uh, this presentation. Uh, <clears throat> first of all, I got the invitation from her side and I, I was thinking uh, what to present in a, a conference which is uh, more concentrated towards power plant. I have gone through the presentations which are done earlier in this day and understood the importance of water management, water conservation in your industry. And mostly uh, my experience earlier was with the utilities and some industrial development corporations where we were doing one some specific projects based on the uh, technology. We are providing them technology to manage water supply, water management, and al also whatever is happening in their plant or in their uh, vicinity. <coughs> so. I would start uh, first of all about what is ITRON. So ITRON is a, a US based company and uh, we have a footprint of almost 40 to 50 years in India. We are working here since 1980 and uh, mostly we started with the hardware uh, portion where we were part of uh, Actaris and uh, we were when India market was just getting together with water so we were supplying some hardwares into the market. And uh, slowly and steadily with the technology uh, growth across the world, ITRON uh, developed some technologies which are very good for water monitoring, supply, distribution, analysis, and doing calibration online and online water audit also. So basically ITRON uh, uh, is working in electricity, water, and uh, uh, in, uh, in uh, electric vehicles and smart cities. So we have a solutions which are having, which are being deployed at scale, tested at scale, and <coughs> sorry, so, and we have a technology which can help you bring on all your plant data or your uh, data uh, referring to the water and uh, water management to one single platform. So this is our, uh, uh, I would say what we do and I already explained so I would not go into this particular uh, slide and you can have a look at this for a second. So what are the challenges in water if I talk about uh, in a, in a water, water industry which is uh, pertaining to a utility sector. So these are the problems they are facing right now. But if I particularly talk about your industry and uh, I can see there is, a, uh, there, is a, there is a need of sustainable solution uh, 
for, for your particular uh, industry space, you have a conservation mandates from the government and you also have an increased operational cost when you are managing your water uh, distribution or water inside the plant. And yes, lack of system visibility can be one of the issues which you may have be facing or may be facing in some of the parts of your plant. So what is ITRON bringing on the table? So we have an industrial IoT platform which is working with our hardware and our networks. We have a IoT networks, uh, which is a private network can be fixed up in any place across the world. And we can uh, bring the data of all the hardware into one single platform. We are device agnostic. Uh, it means you can, uh, if you have any old device, if you have any new device, or you want to install a new device from Mitron itself also, you can put it into the water system and you can bring the data onto one single platform which is uh, uh, which is uh, maintained by itron our platform is uh, usually cloud based so you need not to have any infrastructure mm -hmm. requirement you can uh, directly set up this uh, platform in 45 days uh, with the help of our expert and you can start monitoring your water uh, cycle across the plant. So the cloud is named as Timetra, which you can see at the center. And at the bottom, you can see whatever the devices we are using uh, across the water cycle. We have an, uh, all other sensors also, quality and pressure, which you also can integrate into one single uh, cloud. There are devices which can operate on various uh, uh, networking protocols. If you want to have an online monitoring system and you want to use, uh, let's say, uh, right now we have 5G available in India. So NV IoT bandwidth is available in a lot of cities now. And we have our own RF mesh canopy, which is an IoT network, which we can set up with gateways in your plant and you can transmit data over that. And if you have existing setup of LoRaWAN or any other third party network that can also be brought into one single platform and can uh, help you visualize what is happening in your water supply, your visibility and your uh, accountability of water. So I would just like to put a, a concept here what our platform does is uh, it can segregate your water losses or water audit you are doing into two separate zones which are called apparent and real losses. So apparent losses are happening which are basically due to the inaccuracies in the devices, maybe meters, maybe you are going for calibration of meters also uh, a lot of times in the plant. And there are some losses which are happening due to the uh, physical infrastructure which is uh, maintaining the water supply. So I would just like to give you an example here where we have uh, given you the if the cost of water is taken, uh, we are taking a cost of water here and you can see the real losses is 1.7 million cube and the, the amount of uh, money lost through it is only $255,000. But if I go uh, and take another case where uh, the cost of water for production of water is more than what is in the earlier page, which is 0.15, the loss goes beyond $1 million. So what I want to say, the point is here is, uh, whatever type of losses you are hap happening in a plant or any, any water supply distribution system, you must have a capability to segregate those losses into different type of losses which are happening in a network. Can be real apparent, apparent losses, real losses. You, if you have the accountability for that, you can focus on one particular thing which is required to reduce your operational cost. So I am giving a typical example of how we uh, monitor and manage a water network. So typically taking this water network here, we usually do some evaluation at the beginning with our expert and how the water distribution system looks like. 
and we segregate the uh, places into some uh, water supply zone sectors and uh, all that we restructure the physical infrastructure design and implement zoning concept and install the required uh, maybe like i heard in one one presentation that there we cannot install meters everywhere so we can give you an insight where you should optimize your devices to get the maximum output data out of that so we can help you with that then you can uh, install more sensors if you in future you want to install we can give you the road map how to install them where to install them and what kind of data input is required to get the visibility into your system <coughs> so this is what the itron uh, total offering looks like it is a uh, uh, breadth of offering which we have here we these are some of these offerings are related to utility management but if you want to apply some of the some of this into your plant system you can always go for online water audit you can go for online meter calibration i would like to focus on online meter calibration here because this is one thing which uh, one case has come to me a uh, few months back from our customer where they are pulling out meters from the network to do the calibration or they are uh, doing on site or off site calibration of the meters so we have a analytical platform which can uh, use your meter data uh, probably for 6 months and can tell you that meter requires calibration or not so with the help of this analytical intelligent tool we can tell you if calibration is required so your uh, effort in the field can reduce and you can concentrate on uh, the on the uh, hot spots which are required to be Uh, addressed apart from that we have a back office consulting also if you don't want to experiment right now with the monitoring system centralized monitoring or you are not ready for that or you want to just to explore what have to do we have a lot of consulting services available and uh, we can uh, give you uh, insight into what is your system looking like and what kind of system you should be building in the future to uh, do a proper water management i think that's all from my side it's a very small presentation and uh, thank you for hearing me out thank you thank you so much any questions for uh, mr chaurasya yes can we have the mic there please Uh, very good afternoon uh, could you please elaborate like uh, how your system was do you does your uh, meter have communication sim and they uh, transfer data to central pc what is your system like yeah so we have a lot of uh, uh, protocols available in the meter uh, yes cellular connectivity is one of them if you want a cellular connectivity uh, that data can be collected and sent to the your central platform if you want that is also can be done and uh, if you have want to set up a network inside your plant like a iot network or something like that that also with the help of gateways we can set it up and can send data of all the meters into one single platform okay meter also will be supplied by you yes it can be if you require it can be, it can be. one more thing is that like uh, nowadays uh, it security constraints are there so because of we have already have one system so that system we are not able to integrate with the our our network because of it system constraint constraint so would your system be will be compliant to security guideline of our company yeah so our system is uh, compliant to it guidelines ministry of electronics and information technology and it has been certified by them they have a centralized audit unit which is doing the audit of our cloud and every data server which we are handling plus we have a iso 27001 information security certification for our products thank you uh, we had one more question in the front here hello what i understand is the this is the monitoring central monitoring system so 
do you have your own algorithm in terms of taking any corrective actions or suggesting actions uh, to meet the uh, specific water consumption or things like that? Yes, is there any uh, your patented algorithm or something or it is a wat water monitoring system? So uh, there is a predictive algorithm. There is a algorithm related to the losses in the system you are having. So uh, when I talked about real and apparent losses, there is an algorithm behind that. If uh, let's say your meter is not calibrated and it's not reading properly, the volume supplied and the volume uh, uh, recorded in that meter is not matching or there are not been proper uh, uh, correlation between the two datas, the system will automatically alert you that this particular device needs uh, some correction. Secondly, uh, data quality is one of the issues which we are looking into systems, which is also part of uh, cor correlative algorithm. So uh, data quality, usually when you are uh, connecting to a server, the meter data is supplied or a sensor data is supplied to your server, SCADA server or whatever it is. So <coughs> what we do, we take the reading is coming for a day. But uh, if your device is planned to supply let's say 360 readings per day. And out of that, it is only filling gaps for 355 or 350 data points. Then even my system will tell you that this is the data quality they are showing there and not able to fill 100%. So the, if there is a communication error, you can get an alert. If there is a device error, you can get an alert. If there's a uh, problem in a physical infrastructure, obviously you will see on the dashboard on a monitoring scale, you will see the losses are going up. And uh, then an algorithm is there to predict what kind of losses are there. So you need to, if you want to do any physical infrastructure repair, they will tell you. If not, then they will tell you that is some device error that is causing the loss figure to go up. OK, one more question. Uh, whether this system can communicate with existing SCADA system of Yes. Control room or it is a separate? Yes, it can communicate with SCADA system. So uh, usually uh, uh, <coughs> uh, two types of protocols we have, OPC, UA, and SFTP, whichever is uh, client is uh, uh, comfortable with, we can provide. And even if there is a third protocol which SCADA server has, we, we, ha we can develop that. We have a backend team sitting in Bangalore we have a 700 engineers working there on this system. So we have a very good team which can uh, push this data on your SCADA. Okay, thank you. Yeah. We have one question at the back there, and that would be the last question. We then move on to the next presentation. Vaha mic de dije piche. Hi. Um, actually, uh, my question is related to your system can be able to segregate the lean and uh, high concentrate or uh, um, what to say acids alkali in the source hold the mic a bit closer because the hello yeah. yeah so uh, my my question to you is uh, is there possibility your system can segregate the uh, effluents at the source itself if we give a proper uh, data uh, so that this is the parameter if meets then it goes to lean if it is a high uh, uh, TDS or something, it has to go to uh, special kind of treatment so that we can reduce the treatment uh, capacities in the effluent treatment plants. Is it possible? Sir, uh, there is an algorithm uh, related to some other parameter of water quality, but I think if you have a business case, we can explore that. That is not a problem because our team uh, has a capability to like use that data set for the effluent treatment also. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Presently, what we are looking for, uh, we are facing actually, lean water and high concentrated waters all mixed together and going for uh, yes. treatment. Yes. It increases the treatment of uh, uh, into one uh, effluent treatment scheme. It will increase the capacity. Lean water can be treated in a different method. Yes. So high concentrated uh, waters can be tra uh, treated in a different method. So if your system helps, it will be added advantage so to. What I understand is like uh, what <coughs> I understood from your question is 
like we can have a if there is a uh, there is a sensor device available there uh, you have to install that we can use that data to tell you what uh, level of uh, effluents are available in a in a in a uh, in that particular section of the distribution and if you want to s uh, segregate uh, then you have to have a automation control over that if you want to segregate so we can predict what is happening or tell you what is happening but if you you need to have a automation control also to uh, segregate that particular section we can discuss sir thank you yeah Thank you so much. And uh, with that, I would like to thank you, Mr. Chaurasia, for your time and the presentation. May I have a memento, please, for him? And of course, I will hand that over when you all give him a huge round of applause, please. Thank you so much. So our next session is a spotlight presentation on reduction of special raw water consumption by reuse, recycle, reduce waste water in process by Mr. Ujal Naskar, shift charge engineer operation, the Tata Power Company Limited, Jojobera Power Plant. Before he joins me on stage, a few words about him. Mr. Naskar brings 14 years of invaluable experience in coal-based thermal power plant operation, serving as both a desk and shift charge engineer. His expertise lies in overseeing critical aspects of plant operations, ensuring efficiency, safety, and compliance with regular with a keen understanding of operational intricacies. Requesting him to please join me on stage and we'll go with the perfect 20 minutes to round this up so that we can move on to our awards. Please join me on stage. Thank you, CE, and thank you, all delegates, for listening to us. And thank you, CE, uh, for giving me this opportunity to present small uh, case study regarding uh, reduction of specific low water consumption by 3R method, uh, by using, by uh, utilizing wastewater in the current process. Myself, uh, Ujjal Nashkar, and uh, I started my career in Tata Power, still working in Tata Power. I have 14 years experience in uh, coal-based thermal power plant operation department. Uh, starting my career as a desk engineer now, I am a uh, shift charge engineer of operation in Jojobera thermal power plant, which is in Jamshedpur in Jharkhand. Uh, in Jojobera, <coughs> Tata Power Jojobera, we have five unit, uh, consist of four 120 megawatt unit and one 67.5 megawatt unit. So total ca installed capacity is 547.5. Uh, all are uh, coal-based thermal power plant, pulverized coal-based thermal power plant. Uh, see, uh, our main customer is uh, Tata Steel. And uh, uh, our customer's customer uh, are Tata Motors and